Tommy NFG, 2000s talk show host decline. He just posted this. So let's go see what Tommy's talking about. Let's go see what Tommy's talking about. Something that's defined television since the dawn of its inception is talk shows. The concept is simple, really. You get a person slash famous person, give them a show with their full name plastered as the show name, mm. and have them talk about miscellaneous... I've never watched a talk show in my life. Maybe I watched some Dr. Phil or Maury or, like, Jerry growing up, but that's about it. I'm not going to hoot you. I don't even know if that counts, but, like, I wasn't watching no Ellen. I wasn't watching no Oprah. I wasn't watching none of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it a sack random topics to fill up people's boredom through the day. Now for me, growing up in the 2000s and 2010s, you saw an absolute explosion of this everywhere on TV. But like damn near every celebrity was just getting a talk show at their own request. It's kind of like the podcast era we're in right now where literally any single person on the internet just has their own podcast all of a sudden. So today I mainly want to talk about the mainstream talk shows we all know, <laughs> which funny enough, end up having the worst terrible most damaging messages to people the most sneaky conniving host running the show and overall just the amount of sheer evil this era has caused on television and the damage it's done to people so let's mm. first start off with one of the basics the jerry springer show the jerry springer show jerry rp jerry but jerry the blue ride podcast is bad i would i'm not going to do the blue ride podcast it would if i if i did have a podcast it wouldn't be called the blue ride podcast it would be called like i don't no, I'm not gonna hold you. It wouldn't be called no fucking Blue Ride podcast, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, RP Jerry, but the nigga was a, a D1 instigator. I'm not gonna hold you. It would be called Blacked. That's what it would be called. Um, but Jerry was a, Jerry was a D1 instigator. You know what I'm saying? Jerry was a, a D1 instigator. You know what I'm saying? Like keeping it in a stack. But RP Jerry, that made it. That made it entertaining. That made it entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just that's just just that's, that's just how it goes started in 1991 and the premise was simple really have the most shocking jaw dropping demented people to publicly embarrass themselves and there's no way this nigga's body hit the splits in front of millions no fucking oh yeah oh yeah Jaw dropping, demented. I can just tell. I can just tell our first frame. Demented people to publicly embarrass themselves in front of millions of people daily. Like I don't know what it was, but I keenly remember turning on the TV every day when that was still a thing and seeing the show playing. Jerry must have had pockets full to the brim and unlimited budget the way he was airing these stories daily. And honestly, even calling his stories is really pushing it it would pretty much just be a person walking into show b person introducing themselves and their problem c the said problem walking into the show and d massive fights just breaking out of nowhere and that built character though it'd be the fight you know what i'm saying the fight the fights was, was really just like that you know what i'm saying like y'all just y'all just y'all just don't know you know what i'm saying uh uh uh, uh who tell posted oh yeah which we're not gonna be able to get to those today i'm not gonna hold you um, what a tough post, just so I can go see. Um, uh, oh, the Viner video? Oh, that joint looked fire, too. We're gonna get to that video, uh, not this stream, though. No. You were in the crowd. So if you don't really know the Jerry Springer show, pretty much just take that premise I told you and put it across 4,960 episodes. God damn. <laughs> I knew it was long, but god damn, I did not know it was this long. 4,969 episodes of families, relationships, Possibly Mario, I don't know. everything just being made fun of in front of a full crowd and millions of people watching at home. And I already know there's going to be some nerd-ass nigga being like, Well, Tommy, they're actually the ones that volunteer to be on the show, so you're completely wrong on that aspect. Why are you... Is this what some of y'all niggas look like? Who's watching right now? Some of y'all niggas would be like, Right, can you stand up, please? Can you stand up? When's the turkathon? Can you stand up? Stand up. Can you turn around? Is, is, is some of y'all look like these. Like, that's just how I imagine some of y'all. ain't going to lie. Not all y'all, but the next week saying that. It's just how I, I, I imagine y'all. Like, look at Mari. Like, this is this is actually Mari in his, in his true form. Even talking bad about And you know what? To people that say that, you're absolutely 100% right. They do volunteer to be on the show. But it still doesn't make it any better. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that the show wasn't funny and you can't enjoy it because of that aspect. Like, who wouldn't want to see such classic episodes like... I got your dog and your man. Shit. 
She wants to marry her cousin. I trapped my daughters, man. Oh. oh, this is my favorite one, guys. This is really my favorite. Girlfriend finds out her boyfriend is black. Like, bro, what the f What is going on, bro? What's really going on on, on the Jerry Springer show, bro? That clip is iconic. I'm not going to lose But I have a confession to make. I'm black. You're what? John, how come you didn't tell me you were black, you lying? Though. To this day, I still Average need context. Our fans, FRFR. Has anybody ever seen the actual episodes behind this clip? Like, motherfucker, but shocking confessions. Is she legally blind, bro? This, this, like, this, this, this one right here, this one cannot be real. Lebaco, who you There's just no way. She is? I think she's blind. Jesus Christ. Girlfriend finds out her boyfriend is black. How are you blind and racist? confession to make. I'm black. You're what? John, how come you didn't tell me you were black, you lying son of a b You know how much I hate me. My family hates me. Oh, I'm just. Just in front of the entire audience, bro. Just in front of the entire audience. Does she not? Can she not see color or something? Like, what? How can? But she like clearly was pressing up on him. So like, how can she not see? She's so real for that. Just like me. Like, bro. There's just no way. Oh my god. Thank you for the dollar, bro. I ain't gone cap. That pink-haired girl is one of those girls that a lot of you all niggas would fold for. Mm. And, sadly enough, I am one of those people. That nigga projecting. But you know how much I hate niggas. My family hates niggas. Oh, just... <laughs> you can tell obviously some of the guests are playing into it and just really don't care. And you know what? Let's say they do deserve it perhaps because they're the ones signing up for the show and they should know what they're getting into. But what personally shocked me the most out of all of this is how much the guests actually get paid for being on this show. According to sources online, they don't even f get paid! The only reason it's considered paid is because they get a flight from and back to where they live in a hotel with food. Like I know damn well that Jerry Springer show was making millions of dollars Years? daily they couldn't slide a couple of bucks to the guests it's kind of a double-edged sword for me because on one hand you chose to publicly embarrass yourself for 15 minutes of fame but on the other hand everyone at that goddamn show's production knows it and doesn't bat an eye and by the way okay. no way am i personally putting hate onto jerry springer himself like i never just plainly disrespect the dead like that but even before he passed away jerry springer issued an official apology to the people for his show Pull damn out, boy, I just apologize i'm so sorry what have I done? I've ruined the culture. I to be fair, sh** is entertaining. Sh** entertaining. I don't think anybody actually gave a except the people involved. Sh** was entertaining. I'm not gonna lose you. Like, if we keeping it, niggas keeping it a stack, I ain't gonna lose you. Like, sh** was entertaining. Keep it a stack. I just hope hell isn't that hot because I burn real easy. I'm very light complected, which is really haunting to see considering Damn. he died this year. Like, I couldn't imagine the type of demons he was fighting inside of his head. But you know, if even Jerry Springer apologized, then all the shows that copy this format need to ASAP. Because there was God knows how many formats of this going on TV at the time. The Maury Show, Dr. Nigga said, wait, Jerry dead? Who gonna tell him? Phil show, the Steve Wilco show. Put a little emphasis on Maury. I think Maury single-handedly started that whole meme of black fathers just poof, never being there. And the weird thing is that it's not like he didn't have white people or any other races on the show. But why is it every time I see one of these goddamn compilations, it's a bunch of niggas breakdancing after hearing they're not the father? He definitely yeah. said back to- Shout out to the cameraman. The cameraman are actually, should actually like go run like track professionally y'all ever seen one of these people running the cameraman literally catches up to them in like 0.5 seconds shot to the cameraman black community a solid 100 years in america but you know at least more paid his guests an amazingly huge amount of 300 dollars for the entire day another talk show host in a different category that i couldn't stand was dr oz dr oz really 
is this nigga? He had a grasp on the women over 40 population in the 2000s and 2010s. He's mainly known for giving basic health advice on things with cool screen effects, I guess. Like, wow, did you know that if you eat MF an apple a day, DF. it can keep the doctor away? And let me make one thing clear to y'all. When I say health advice, let me put a big emphasis on the word fat. Just search up Dr. Oz's name on YouTube with fat, and there's hundreds of videos about how to lose fat belly fat fat in places you didn't know existed this man was milking the hell out of this topping until it's no tomorrow Dang. and he always had this big emphasis on using magical products to get things done you have cancer who was watching this nigga though hmm Take this donkey spine fluid juice at 45 minute intervals five times a day and it'll be cured. Like the amount of absolute bullshit products he's promoted in the show tops any other show I've ever seen. And while you're sitting there probably thinking to yourself, who would ever buy any of this junk? Your mom, auntie, or grandma probably bought one of these products hoping and praying it would work. Damn. Or even worse, had the whole family eating the most disgusting Dr. Oz can- That is disgusting. Today is my 20th birthday, my queen. Yeah, queens. Jet, thank you for the $10. Happy 20th birthday. Damn! Happy 20th, bro. Happy 20th. Uh, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. My head hurts. Is My head hurts. I'm not gonna hold uh, we keep it pushing out. in the name of keeping it healthy. The lies got so bad on his show that he actually got sued multiple times for lying about these products. In one okay, of the cases, what do you he all know about the jelly juice? had to pay a 5.25 million dollar settlement. Um, 20 and still didn't get a VR for Among Us. You're white hating on him. YTF this nigga Tommy just post another video mid video. Blute is on the grind. Skull. We talking about he posted the video in the mid video on his live channel? Why? Why niggas like? Yo, you can't even you can't even be on the ground no more without niggas on your ass. He was also questioned by the Senate in a hearing. Like nigga, how bad does your advice have to be that the government steps in and has to regulate you? You know for a fact one of these government dudes' wives was watching Dr. Oz and had them eating asparagus with salt every night, and they were just like, man, f this shit, I'm fed up with this. Put him in the fing hearing. The funny thing about Dr. Oz though is that it's not like he's just some fugazi fake doctor on TV who doesn't actually know anything about it. The man is a licensed heart surgeon. So if you're heart, about to get heart surgery and see Dr. Oz walk in, that's oh, yeah, you're probably cooked. better to just pull you're the cooked. He must have got this degree from Roblox University or something because I refuse to believe this man can actually practice medicine. And ever since the decline and sad ending of the Dr. Oz show in 2022, he's now running for Senate? I have no clue how these career paths even combined, but yeah, he's been in the politics game for a while. We will not be voting. A better career, though, than the one we will not be voting for him. Absolutely Lies about Pennsylvania. Y'all in Pennsylvania, y'all, y'all, y'all voting, y'all voting for him. This next one is a very, very special person because I never liked them ever since their show was airing or anything they've ever done in their entire life. Wendy Williams. Oh my bad. There's yeah. an error on production on this side. Give me a second. Oh yeah, they about to cancel Tommy. They gonna cancel this nigga. They about to cancel this nigga. I'm not gonna hold you. They, they about to cancel this nigga. Uh, Tommy, don't let anybody. Don't let Twitter see this. Don't let Twitter see this. Uh, to be fair, Wendy Williams is a terrible person. But don't let Twitter see this. Much better. <gasps> Wendy Williams. The Wendy Williams show was one of the best things to happen to middle-aged mothers and the worst atrocity ever aired to everyone else. The show focused all in on garbage celebrity drama. To the nigga who was questioning Tommy uploading. Stop but hating honestly, on the niggas back grind the show, and get on Wendy your own. Williams is very lucky that she's old. If she was born a tad bit younger, then the best chance she would have is being Here? one of those shitty T channels on YouTube. But for a long time, her show rained down. Oh, I forgot about that shit. How'd you even play that? Here's the mother. T oh my god, I forgot all about that. Uh, Why'd you do number that? number one drama outlet for women. And it's not like I hate her just because she's a drama outlet that talks about useless celebrity drama. It's the certain way she's gone with the talking she's done. One notable one I'll never forget is when Jennifer Lawrence's nudes got leaked and after learning about it, Wendy had a positive feminist messages about it and said this. It's not your choice, it's in the cloud and I've looked several times. Wow, I'm not gonna hold you. That's like the tamest thing Wendy Williams has uh, Wendy Williams has ever said in her life too. That's crazy. So I guess I'm disgusting for looking. Clap if you've looked at Jennifer Lawrence's hacking pictures. Clap if you're lying because you really did look. 
I swear, if I didn't hear her voice that is and crazy. just saw the response... Could y'all imagine if a dude said that, chat? Could you imagine? Sell on Reddit. I couldn't imagine a single man saying this without being completely canceled, let alone anyone in the year Facts. of 2023, honestly. I'm telling y'all, she's just so lucky that she's a bit older and people watching her are absolutely brain dead. Her audience is the definition of NPC. They clap at anything at her will on the show. But oh, I'm not done yet. There's way worse moments she's too. She's done worse like She was covering a story about how Trey Songz beat his girlfriend in front of people and in the middle of it just- I didn't goes, hear about this. Assault. Isn't he just so dreamy? Yeah. Wow. I mean, just- <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And just, I do believe I heard, and Norman did too, one of our co-hosts over here, we're not gonna zoom in on her, say, beat me. How are you gonna Yo! And then what if you did see somebody at the party? Oh, I don't wanna be involved, no, I'm not calling. You handle your life over there with Trigger. And when she said Terry Crews wasn't brave for talking about his sexual assault, I hope you know if you reverse these roles, it'd be GG's. Or when she... <laughs> I think y'all get the point. Karma's a bitch, though, because if you wow. see her in any recent videos, she is straight up sick, and it's actually bad. I want to feel bad because... Oh, my God. You don't have nothing nice to say, chat. You just keep moving. Just keep moving. I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> Yo, Mari, you cannot, you cannot say that. Jesus Christ. Disease and seeing videos and photos like this is just. Almost just played Momo. I almost just played Billy Jean for a second. I'm not gonna hold you. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm bigger than that. I'm bigger than that, though. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. There we go. Looks like the female but at the same time, tail. you did religiously bash people for a decade on TV, so... <sighs> I'm gonna just take the high road and just keep it pushing. And with this last one, I made sure to save... Ellen. Pre-Ellen. Okay, we don't gotta waste time with this. It's Think a bit, yeah. the yeah, worst talk show host ever. Terrible human being. No one likes her. I'm still so surprised that the Ellen show ran for night. Who was watching the Ellen show? Anytime you saw the Ellen show, it was probably a clip on YouTube of a meme that you've been looking at and that's been blowing up. Otherwise, who's watching the Ellen show in its entirety at all, ever? 18 years because it truly was just so boring. Like, if Ellen didn't have any connections in Hollywood and couldn't bring a multi famous guest every day, her show would have tanked. Seriously, can y'all name one Ellen episode that y'all have watched in full with just Ellen as the person that day? You could have the Ellen show and paint drawing side by side, and I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But her being a boring ass individual isn't a crime. What is, though, is a toxic workplace and sexual misconduct. All that have happened in the Ellen production. I don't know how it got triggered, but I remember one day in 2020, everyone that has ever been in contact with Ellen just came out with Terrence, thank you for the tier one. It was down to the point where there were so many terrible stories. You know, this wasn't just one disgruntled employee that was really pissed at her and wanted to make a story. Some of my favorite ones people have told are, she has a sensitive nose, so everyone must chew gum from a bowl outside her office. What? Just before talking to her. Every day she picks someone different to hate. Truly embodying the meme, I'd be waking up real early to have extra time to be a hater. I Mari, she, Mari, she on your type of timing. She, she on your type of timing. I worked at Real Food Daily, served her and Portia at brunch. She wrote a letter to the owner and complained about my chip nail polish. Not that it was on her plate, but that it was just on my hand. Almost got me fired. And there's just so many more accusations that I could probably sit here for 10 years and still not be done. The worst part about this whole thing is her show is supposed to be about the super family friendly amazing kindness to everyone. Be kind to your neighbor, be kind to the ants you walk by on the street. I'm telling y'all, this is the exact reason why I don't donate to charity. It always ends up being the most positive people who do terrible things. And the funny that thing is, is a fact. when I was talking about how she's she basically nothing without the multi-celebrity guest that she brings on her show, well, it turns out that she's not even good at that either. There's been multiple cases where she's just completely f***ed up at that too. One of which is when she basically forced Mariah Carey to reveal her pregnancy by telling her to drink on her show or she's pregnant. Look at her smiling ear. Yo, Ellen is actually evil as fuck, bro. Like, I'm not gonna hold you. 
This is this is like you would never see me on Ellen. Notice how Oprah isn't on here. You know what I'm saying? Ear to ear, you would think Ellen would know as a celebrity why she didn't want to tell the public. Once the worst part about this entire thing is that nigga. not long after the show, Mariah Carey actually had a miscarriage. Wow. Wow, and she made her drink that the alcohol on 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 TV. Damn. Wow. That the whole public officially knew about. But my favorite terrible moment from Ellen is the classic wow. cup chair clip. This is that one clip where wow. because a lady took more than one shirt from her shitty merch line on her show, she decided to personally make her a segment on the show to snitch on her, blast her in front of the entire audience and TV audience, and have her sit in the corner like it was timeout time. I don't care how famous you are, there is no world I am ever taking that disrespect just Yeah, I'm not, bro. Rapid. I don't give a who you, I don't and give a who you the is. the saddening ending of the Ellen DeGeneres show and cancellation. Damn, it ended? I don't think anybody gave a But she's been looking more shriveled than ever i mean good god what happened did you and the hollywood elites run out of the children's blood to absorb bitch look like a zombie from call of duty anyways wrapping things up i'm really glad this whole era of talk show they will no hate kind of died down it's over tough. time nearly all of them are either canceled or aren't running because tv died down and i couldn't have asked for a better ending sadly we did get a, a whole new era podcast of with podcast but yeah it's at our own will and we aren't forced to watch it follow me on twitter w instagram video. and tiktok as w always video. i love you guys consensually and until next time I'm out. W video from Tommy and MG. Yeah, a lot of them like Ellen and Dr. Oz. Who's watching shit like that, bro? Now Jerry Springer, Maury. Like you know what I'm saying? Bro, niggas was watching those. I'm gonna keep it a sad. Nick, niggas was watching those, but like that's about it. I ain't gonna hold you. Good video from Tommy. Though. T chopped, she sliced, diced, and nothing nice. Bro, I had to stop myself. I had to stop myself from from talking about uh, Wendy Williams.